Welcome to the Ferris Show on television. First tonight, whatever happened to the crisis at the border? It's almost like it just disappeared from the national media conversation. But the effects of illegal immigration are worse than ever. That's not us saying it. That, of course, is not even the Republican governor of Texas saying it. That's not the Republican governor of Florida saying that it is worse than ever. That is the White House saying it. Take a listen. Busing or flying migrants uh, around the country without any coordination with the federal government, we've talked about this, uh, state or local officials as well, uh, is dangerous and unacceptable. You're actually putting a lot of pressure on these states and local, uh, and local, um, uh, local areas. Of course, there is the pressure on Texas and Arizona and the other border states as well. Nobody's complaining more about the pressure of illegal immigrants coming to their city than the New York City's Democratic mayor. He says that as many as 700 migrants are arriving each day in the Big Apple, but have no fear, New Yorkers, your Democratic mayor has a plan. He wants Big Apple residents to open their doors and welcome these people who have shown up into their homes. There are residents who are suffering right now because of economic challenges. They have spare rooms, uh, they have locales, and if we can find a way to get over the 30-day rule and other rules that government has in, in its place, we can take that $4.2 billion, $4.3 it may be now, that we potentially have to spend, and we can put it back in the pockets of everyday New Yorkers. This is because of the right to shelter laws that New York has. The response was swift in the number one question, is he going to start with Gracie Mansion, which is the mayor's mansion? Adams said today, my door is open. It's so funny you say that because I was speaking with the staff to see if I can put a few families into Gracie Mansion. You know, uh, I, I'm a big believer and leading from the front. All right. So you can imagine if Greg Abbott, the Texas governor, has heard that, how long it takes for a couple of buses of illegal immigrants to show up at Gracie Mansion. Governor Abbott has already sent a number of busloads of migrants to the front door of Kamala Harris's house, Kamala Harris, the vice president, and also the border czar. With that, we bring in Councilman Robert Holden, Democrat, who represents Queens uh, in New York and is with us. Uh, sir, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. Help us understand, because New York is so different, um, what the right to shelter means and why all of a sudden there is so much money that has to be spent by New York to actually house these migrants as opposed to a lot of other cities in America. Well, the right to shelter came about in, from 1979 to about 81. There's a uh, litigation and it was brought uh, on the state of New York um, to house anybody that needs shelter. And at, at that time, it really applied to New Yorkers. So that's why we, we think the right to shelter is the wrong way to go on this one, because we're not going to, we can't take in the world. Uh, if a million people come, do we have to house a million people and feed them and clothe them? It's ridiculous. I, I, forgive me for, and I'm not being flip here, but how do you think Texas and Arizona and the mayors and city councils in El Paso and Dallas and Fort Worth and all these other cities feel? Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.